Good afternoon and welcome to the channel. So, if you haven't seen the video of the unboxing of the ZL1 add-ons rear diffuser for the Challenger, definitely check out that video. Um, there was a few, there was one thing wrong with it. Um, it was bent in shipping and I did note that. There is something else I do want to show you guys on it. It's not a deal breaker for me, but today we are doing the install of the ZL1's rear diffuser on my 2015 Challenger. Um, I think it's going to be a pretty easy install. I've got the car backed up on some ramps. I'll show you guys that. We'll go over the install and we'll go step by step on the install so you guys can see what it takes to put it on. Um, personally, I think it's going to be very easy to put on and it's going to improve the looks tremendously on the Challenger. So we'll head over there. I'll show you guys that, we'll get that checked out, and then we will get into the install. So here is the rear diffuser. Nope, that's Winston making his appearance on the Mean B392 channel. He is uh, out here helping with the install. But here is the rear diffuser, the tools that we're going to need. I'll go over the tools and show you guys that. Um, the one thing that I said that I was going to note, and I don't know if it's going to show up on here, hopefully it does. So you can see this is all a big scratch, there's actually two of them. Uh, this is on the bottom plate from the fins, so it got scratched pretty bad, uh, I would say, when it was being made or built, but that will be under the car, not really a deal breaker, but it is something to note. We did get the metal piece that was bent and shipping straightened out, but that was the one thing I wanted to note there to show you guys. So the parts that they include are these two standoffs with washers, lock washers, and bolts. It's an 11 millimeter for those. We have a 11 millimeter wrench, ratchet socket, flat tip screwdriver for the push rivets. I will show you guys that. And a Phillips. The Phillips are for these four mounting screws to hold on the bottom. On the back side, you have the nuts that are the 11 millimeter that you're going to hold that replaces the push rivets. And I'll show you guys that in the install. Uh, so we will pull the push rivets off first. I'll show you how to check to make sure your cross member up under the car is threaded for the standoffs. We'll get those push rivets removed, like I said. We'll get the standoffs put in, and we'll get this thing bolted up. So up underneath the rear of the car, these are the four push rivets that you will need to remove. You can get a pry tool, or you can just use a flat tip screwdriver. I've showed these before on the channel if you've been following the channel. Uh, basically, you just get it up under it, get the center popped out. Once the center's popped out, sometimes the whole center will come out. If it does, it's okay, not a huge deal. But then the rest of that push rivet will come out. So I'm gonna get the remaining three of these pulled out. So we've now got those four push rivets removed. So this is going to be a little bit flimsy. That's what those four bolts are going to be to hold it on. I'm going to show you up underneath to see if your cross member is threaded or not. Then we will be putting in these standoffs. Um, what you can do now is remove these bolts and washers out of them, set them to the side. Wow. <laughs> so we got those removed, set the bolts and washers to the side. You're only going to need this piece and we'll get those put in. So we are a little bit upside down here, but here's your rear differential. Here is the two bolts that those standoffs are going to go in. So you want to look at those to see if they are threaded. It's hard to see. There it's focusing. You can see the threads in the top left corner there. So they are threaded, so we can just put these standoffs in. So basically all you got to do is take your standoff, get it started in, and then Get both of these in and tighten them up. So you can get a really good grip on these. If you want, you can get a pair of pliers to tighten them up. Or you can just grab them by hand. They don't need to be extremely tight. And I'm going to go ahead and put the other one on. So as you can see, both of those standoffs are in. Um, I tighten them down by hand. Just getting a good grip on them because when you put the bolts in, it's going to tighten them as well when you tighten that up. Um, I will show you the next step for getting the diffuser ready to get up under here. Once we get it up under here, I will be putting the bolts in here in each one to hold it on. And then we will do the back ones. So down here on the diffuser, you're going to want to remove all four of these nuts. So there is the nuts. 
You can only remove all four of these to put them back on, but these are gonna be going in the holes that these push rivets were in. One thing that I really like is those are screwed into the plastic. They're not gonna fall out on you, so it's gonna make installing this a lot easier. Okay, now that we got all those, those four nuts off, you're going to take both of your bolts with the washers for the front of the diffuser. We're gonna slide under the car with the diffuser and we're gonna go ahead and get it bolted up. So you guys are gonna be looking at me from the back of the car, but I'm just gonna slide under with the diffuser and get everything on the front lined up before I do anything on the rear. So I've got both of the bolts in the rear just hand tight so we can still move this around so we can get these bolts up in through the bumper. So these do take a little bit of prying around and it just fell out, but I had it in through both plastic pieces and then we'll take the nut and put the nut on. Okay, so this is the driver's side. I have the nut on that one. I did not put the one in the middle, those two, but I did on the passenger side. So the passenger and driver's side both have nuts. We're going to go back under, take the two bolts out holding the front of it up to get that front to drop down to give us access up in behind here to get these two nuts in the center on. I'm going to tighten those up and then I'll reinstall those two bolts on the standoff up in the front there. So as you guys can see with the front, you can lower that down so you can get back to these back nuts a little bit easier. I'm gonna go ahead and do those and tighten them up like I said. I have the front drop down, as you can see, to get to these bolts and nuts that are up in here. And they are all across back through there. Um, you can see all of them through there. This gives you a lot more access to get your arm in there because if it's bolted up, you cannot. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten those down up here or back here. I'm gonna get all four of those tightened down. I'm gonna reinstall the bolts back in the front, get everything tightened up and it will be good to go. All right, so we got everything tightened up and installed. Everything lines up really nice. Like I said, we will get it outside to show you guys. I wanna show you underneath. You can see it's covered up all that void area between the exhaust pipes. It has nice rolled edges tucking up into the exhaust. So you're not gonna have all that air coming under your car. Basically having some turbulence back here getting trapped. So I would say yes, it would help aerodynamics. Will you notice? Probably not. Maybe in fuel mileage. Here's from the side. But this thing looks super sharp. I'm gonna get it off these ramps. I'll show it to you a little bit outside. All right, guys. So I'm showing it to you outside in the light. This thing looks absolutely awesome. I am super, super happy with it. It makes the tail end of this thing look extremely mean. Like I said, it is very flush. Almost looks like the car came with it. Doesn't look like an add-on but this thing looks awesome. All right guys, there's the install. It's really washed out, you can't see it. Of the ZL1 add-ons rear diffuser for the 2015 and up Challenger. Um, I would definitely say, don't worry about putting those bolts in the front first. You're gonna wanna get that back lined up because it's going into the black plastic valance and then it's also a plastic piece that that valance goes to as well. So they're kind of pliable. It's hard to get all four of those bolts started. I know I didn't go over it super well, but it's just literally pushing bolts through holes. What do you guys want to watch that for? You really don't. But just get those all hooked, all lined up, pushed in, start your outside nuts, just barely start them. And then go to the center and get those started. Like I said, I was trying to do it, so it's kind of a pain for me. I was doing it the wrong way. That is the easiest way of doing it. Once you get that done, then bolt the front up to those standoffs and you see the end result. 
I am super happy with it. I absolutely love the way this looks. I have like a new love for it now with the back end just looking so much meaner. Definitely let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think of the diffuser. Let me know what you think of the video. I'm really curious. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if you like this video. It's greatly appreciated. I appreciate all your guys' support. I know I say it all the time. I can't say it enough because I truly do. But thank you so much for stopping in and checking out this video. Hopefully it was fun to watch. Something you want to do. Helpful. Let me know. But I look forward to getting back with you guys. And I'll catch you all in the next one. And until then, take care.